It's Mega Money Mondays, my friends. We got a lot to talk about, a lot of stuff happening. Making money today, Mega Money, Money Style, Mega Money Mondays. Live on YouTube, 9.15 a.m. If you're missing out, make sure you tune in, my friends. Let's get into the action. What's going on, guys? Patrick here. Today, we're talking about this action on Mega Money Mondays. Well, what happened, Patrick? How did you know? What did you know? What did you do? Well, today we had a really interesting setup here on the NASDAQ, actually. So if you look here at the NASDAQ this morning, I want to point out a couple things, right? We've got this kind of going into open. We had this support level, which was right here at the 800s. So draw your line across there. That was the bounce this morning. So we had the VWAP. We had that support level. We had this big 15-minute candle. We bounced off of that 800 level at open and squeezed straight up there. This is the 15-minute chart. So basically 860, 880, 890 through the 900s up there to the 911s. And guess what? We then bounced off that 800 level once again later on in the day here. So a big move up, a big move down, and then another big move back up. We had a couple things to focus on at open, especially on the ES with the gap fill here. If we pull up the chart with the gap fill, let's go like this, 15 minute, five minute chart. We can see going into open that we did have that gap, that red line right there was the gap on the ES. And well, we ended up holding there with the VWAP on the ES at open, kind of pushed up, bounced off the VWAP, pushed up here at 10 o'clock and then sold down. We filled the gap and then we broke back to the upside here and we got back above the VWAP. This to me, getting back above the VWAP is very bullish. It's very bullish when anything basically reclaims the VWAP. If we look at the three minute chart here, what we have is the pivot points, those orange lines. We got stuck up here at the top here. We're now pushing through the highs actually on the NASDAQ right there. So another big move through the highs, but look at how this played out. We held the lows at open. And one thing I want to point out, people were talking about getting short at open. We did know, you know that there was that gap fill down there, but think about it like this, all right? Do buyers want to buy low or do sellers want to sell low? Like where do buyers want to buy? They want to buy at the lows. Sellers want to sell at the top. Was this a low or was this a possible high? Is this a possible low or possible high? Think about that. Well, we have the VWAP, we have the 800 level, we have all this stuff going on in our favor. So this really was a spot for the buyers to come in there and break out. Look at this breakout here, three minute chart. This is pretty much like textbook. Bouncing off the VWAP, we had that big move up overnight for the European markets, and we got up to this level, the 860s, we pulled back, and guess where we ended up? Pretty much right out of the gates, up there, the 860 level. We bounced off the VWAP, we held the VWAP there, this thing's still going up there to the 940s now. And that was the high up there, 933. So we actually just broke through the high again here. And well, look how we moved down. We moved down to this 800 level after the ES filled that gap. We did not fill the gap on the NASDAQ here. We just got down there to the 800s. I ended up taking a short from this move from the 50s right here down there to the 800s, got covered, and then I walked away and then I came back and I actually saw this move right here, which played out really beautifully. I love these types of setups, right? This is the Lux Algo price action concepts. This draws my liquidity lines right there. And look at this setup. What do we have? Like, even if we get rid of the indicator, like, just look at this thing. I want you to look at it and I want you to see it. All right, look at that. What do we have about this? What makes this such a good setup for us? All right, let's think about it. All right, we just pushed through this resistance here at the 880s. We got some really good consolidation, right? That's some good consolidation, basically, from 870 to 880s. That's about uh, 20 minutes, of basically, in this range here. So basically, just 20 minutes in this range consolidating, and we know that's bullish. If we break out of this, it's obviously bullish. And guess what? We broke out. We then almost like retested it. We pretty much retested it right there, and then started another kind of chop uh, range breakout thingy here and then we got like through this move up to there now what makes this setup so good all right we kind of draw our line on there like that and then we got this as well we have a lower we have a higher low higher low higher low higher low so pretty much like that in terms of this trend line breakout 
and squeezing those shorts through the high of day. So this really was a beautiful setup. I took this trade on the Quant Tower setup. I can't figure out, like, I can never get my damn orders to show up here. I thought they should show up. I don't know. They don't show up. I don't understand it. But you can see we have the 21 EMA there on the one minute chart. I kind of like this setup right now, 21 EMA. But again, very simple, very clean. Just draw my line on there. Don't overcomplicate it. And look, rip right after the 447s. I got in here for that break back over 900 and sold into this push up to the 20s and locked it down there. But look at this thing. Just ch -ch -ch -ch. You can see there on the book map as well that 950 liquidity has been sitting there pretty much since this move, this breakout. So we had liquidity at the 30s and then the 50s. And that's kind of where we pushed up to. We look like uh, might kind of start another bull flag here and then break through the 50s next. Maybe a little pullback first. But in general, we saw that 50 area sitting there and we squeezed kind of all the way to the high there. I think like uh, the high was, yeah, nah, 47. So about three points off of that 50 area there. And you can see all that liquidity coming in there for that 900 break there as well. So absolutely a lot of good action today. A lot of good follow through. We had moves up. We had moves down. We had the Lux Algo indicator kind of showing us the way with the certain areas. You know, I like to keep a different look, three minute chart, one minute chart and see these different setups. But really that overall trend line kind of breaking out, holding these little imbalances here. We hold those imbalances. We push, we push. And those are all like things I'm looking at. So if I'm looking at this, like, okay, I want this kind of imbalance area, this little fair value gap, whatever you want to call it, breaker in general. I want this kind of 87 area to be protected. And that's what we ended up doing. Got that breakout there on the one minute chart kind of holding there, do, 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 and squeezing up there to the 40s. So this really was a clean, beautiful setup. And, you know, it's not rocket science. We had a pivot point right there. We get above this pivot point. We break through the highs there from earlier at the 30s. We pushed all the way up there to the 47s. And the NASDAQ paying the bills today. So the NASDAQ, the ES, both making some big moves. The ES still kind of lagging. The ES has not, making a, has not made a new high just yet. So the ES has not made a new high just yet, but giving you guys kind of an idea of what I'm looking at here and where I'm taking these trades at. I love these types of setups, you know, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low, higher, low, consolidating, pulling back, breakout, bam. These shorts are going to get squeezed. Like you got to love these types of setups. This right here, it's kind of like questionable. Do I want to buy this pullback right here for the next breakout? Probably not because I would like to see this type of setup. Or maybe we pull back, we kind of push up, we get this little bull flag, the breakout, and brr, 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 off to the races. So there it is. Another day, another dollar. Just keeping it very simple and easy, like always, and doing it live on YouTube. If you guys haven't already tuned in, 9.15 a.m., you know what to do. We'll also be live tomorrow morning on the on the Bookmap channel. Be live at 10 a.m. tomorrow for the Bookmap kind of tutorial and breaking down how I use Bookmap here, trading futures and all that fun stuff. If you want to learn more, check out the... Links down below, sign up for Top Step. And also, if you want to really get serious about trading, come join us in the Market Flow Trader community. Links down below. I'll talk to you guys later on.